Yo, today on Passport Kings, we're discussing Uber scam and how you could get your money back. Engage. I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. First of all, I want to say that the Uber service is one of the greatest creations since the iPhone. But if you're a frequent traveler like myself, you know how expensive it is to either park your car at the airport for a few days or take a cab to the airport every time you want to go out of town. Regular cabs always charge outrageous fees to get from the airport to your hotel or destination. Then, while in your hotel, the regular cabs and their rip-off meters would peel every free dollar away from your wallet by mostly charging you to sit in traffic while it's running up and up like an Olympic track star. Then, when your activities in the new cities are over, you have to pay again to get to your hotel, from your hotel to the airport, and from the airport in your city to your home. When you add up all of that cab fare and or parking fees, it is really a big chunk of your vacation money. I'm not trying to knock a cab driver's hustle, but they know that their automatic fees started out too high and their meters were on overdrive and going way too fast. Well, in San Francisco in 2012, Travis Kalanick and Garrett Camp started a service called Uber, and it completely changes the game for domestic travelers and vacationers. Regular people with clean driving records who want to make the extra money can now use their personal cars to take care of all the needs of a cab that I mentioned, and the best part is, the fair price is actually fair. Now, I've been to a few airports across the U.S. where the city government has blocked Uber drivers from picking people up from the airport. But for the majority of cities, a decently priced Uber pickup is only a few clicks on the Uber app away. So I suggest right now that you go to your smartphone's app service, Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, and download the app right now. They're going to have you fill in a questionnaire and you'll be set up in minutes. As soon as you're done, you'll see a map showing where you are and how close available drivers are to you. Now, before you request one, I want you to take advantage of their special offer. If this is your first time using the service, you can save up to $20 on your first trip. If your ride is not long enough to gobble up that $20, that first trip will be free, but you need to get a referral. And that referral is me. Just click the link in my description or on the little notification you see right now and you will get your first free Uber experience. So where's the scam part you ask? Stay tuned after this quick and I mean quick break and I'll be right back. Do you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. Find out how easy it is to train at home for a better career. Compare your present salary with the money you could be making in any one of these careers. They'll be repeated for you at the end of this commercial, so have your pencil ready to jot down the course you're most interested in. And we'll send you one of these exciting career packs absolutely free with all the information you need. Here are those courses again, so call today for free information. <laughs> Okay, so the Uber scam is when some drivers think of you as new to the city, so they decide to take you on the longest routes to where you need to go. Of course, the meter will go up higher because more miles were used. I discovered this sneaky trick on my way back to my hotel from Santa Monica Pier in LA. I knew we took all regular streets to get to the pier, so I asked the driver on the way back to the hotel, what are we doing on the highway? He came up with some cockamamie story about how at night, the quickest way was via the highway. Well, when we finally got to the hotel, guess what? The fare was significantly higher than what I paid to get to the pier in the first place. And that's the scam. Unscrupulous drivers will have your credit card being charged more for a route that could have costed less. So the way to beat this scam is to first and foremost stay calm with the driver, simply call Uber Dispatch if you can reach them, or send a complaint on the driver on the Contact Us form. In a day or two, they will send you an email back where they will have double checked the route your driver took on the day in question. They keep records. If they find out that your driver took the long cut, they will reimburse you the difference. I'm not sure what, if anything, they say to the driver, but hopefully he'll know to do the right thing from then on. So yo, use Uber for your ride, but don't be taken for a ride. Your cab is a chariot. A chariot for a king. A passport king. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.